After four years of Trump's torturous reign, the mega ordeal is finally about to be over, but not without a monstrous mob insurrection ending it, incited by the president himself and his marching minions. The world is rejoicing that the Trump era is finally over, hopefully for good. On January 20th, Joe Biden will take the oath as all his predecessors did on Capitol Hill. I do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States and will, to the best of my ability, serve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. And officially become the 46th President of the United States. This probably the toughest job in the world right now. We will be leading a country that is more divided than ever, with people getting numb on COVID numbers and unemployment reports. Trump is leaving, but his spirit will still haunt the country. America is in crisis, and this time has Biden come to the rescue? At every other dark moment in history, America has bounced back with a vengeance. This is preeminently the time. When Franklin Roosevelt was inaugurated in March 1933 as the 32nd president of the United States, he inherited America that was at the peak of the Great Depression. One in every four people was out of job and one in four businesses had gone belly up. Roosevelt galvanized the nation with his famous, the only thing to fear is fear the self speech and rejuvenated the economy with the New Deal that put millions of Americans back to work, their massive infrastructure investment projects. Before him, Abraham Lincoln took the presidential oath in 1847, faced with a country that was falling apart as the Confederate States in the South were breaking away. He rose up to the occasion by responding with calm determination and a willingness to work with rivals to hold the Union together. Ultimately, the United States survived after a brutal civil war. Today, America is experiencing another crisis that has wreaking havoc on the economy and also people's lives. As a direct result of Trump's total ineptitude in fighting COVID-19, millions of people are infected and hundreds of thousands are dying. Undoubtedly, combating COVID-19 and dealing with the economy are the two pressing imperatives faced by the new administration. It is no exaggeration to say that Biden's entire four years in power will be judged by his performance in the first six months around these two fronts. Biden has announced that he will immediately order a mask mandate on federal properties. He has said he will roll out vaccination programs in orderly manner, and he will immediately seek the legislation of a nearly $2 trillion relief package plus $1 trillion of federal infrastructure investment programs. All of these things sound very much like a new deal, Biden's new deal. Will Biden turn things around or at least stem America's precipitous decline under Trump? I will still give him the benefit of the doubt. With Georgia's stunning Senate re-election results, Democrats now control both houses. Biden has all things going for him at the moment. If he still screws up, then God bless America faith would be shaken for a lot of people.